we could, couldn't be a Brian Ferry or Johnny Rotten anyway, so uh, pronunciation should be uh, more Japanese. He said, you know, don't try, try, try to be like David Bowie or whatever. We're a bunch of amateurs. Um, Hajime got a uh, graphic design job and uh, I was illustrator and painter. Oh, really? And Chika was stylist, so no, no musicians, so we don't know anything about music. <laughs> <laughs> that worked well with punk music, yeah. though, no? And then, um, you know, Red Zeppelin and all the, you know, muso and techniques. Um, so, we are much depressed, right? You know, we couldn't be a music musician, but uh, Brian Aino and Sex Pistols came out, so, oh, maybe we can do it. So, <laughs> that's how we started. I was into uh, Funkadelica and uh, Black music and funky music, and, and Hajime was into classic, and normal pop music, he said, so that's how we split. And the metal was much more funky. Um, um, we are into hip hop. We started a label called the Major Force. Uh, it was the first hip hop label in Tokyo. Major Force was me, Kudo, um, Hiroshi Fujiwara. Um, and Gota uh, became Simply Red. Um, Hiroshi is you know, very famous, you know, street culture guy. Um, yeah, he's be best friend of Eric Clapton now. We, we did like seven, seven years. 92, uh, we moved to London and uh, start Major Force West with uh, James Lavelle, you know, more wax. Is that still going on? Or? No, no, everything finished. When and why? I think, I think now, you know, nobody buying records anymore. So. <laughs> Everybody's downloading. Yeah, right? the, uh, I lived in London for 11 years. So. 11 years? Well, five and years ago I came back. What were you doing over there? So we are, we are doing uh, more work things. So. Pacific is how we be. And how was the difference of life in London compared to Tokyo? Yeah, much more opportunity though. I think I saw you in, in London Fashion Week. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so was it hard coming back after 11 years? 11 years is a long no, time. No, no. Um, it was more convenient here, and uh, I found much more exciting. London, you know, mail doesn't come, and <laughs> yeah, I just uh, released the album, so... Ah, uh, what's the name of the album? Uh, Taiken Tosh, Major Force, London News. Ah, uh, really? Yeah, unreleased materials. How are you going to promote it? Promote it? Yeah. Um, nothing much, it's just the word of mouth. It just, promotion doesn't mean anything now, so... Do you think? Yeah, um, no. You know, my, my site, and that's it. And what's the address for your site? Uh, Taiken Tosh Kingdom. DVD... Record company said they don't sell DVD much, so... Everything on YouTube. <laughs> 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 so we stopped it. So what do you think the future of music is then? Um, it's convenient, but it's kind of uh, scary at the same time, <laughs> everything on it. And, um, at last, the plastics um, download from iTunes, so um, I think the gold company is going to stop plastics pretty soon, so watch it now. Yeah, I've seen it on yeah. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of, yeah, good as a name card, you know, but um, copyright thing, you know, nobody get money from it, so. So how is the music... Loyalty or anything. How is the music uh, system going to survive? Um, I, th I think we should find a new way to deliver. So, it, CDs gonna be like floppy disk it's gonna be a disappear so so download everything
But there's no way to control, right? No way, it's just bootlegging everything, so it's like Thailand everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's because seriously damaged here. Live is the only thing, you know. I think that's why David Byrne doing such like hundred, you know, concert at venue or world tour. I do a live show. In Tokyo? Yeah. Or any? Constantly. So. Yeah, where's your next schedule? So it Next could... schedule is uh, May. Where? Um, UFO Club and also Red Shoes. It's a Red Shoes, very old club, like from 80s. Yeah. I'm having a regular party, so it's called Exile on Lopongi Street. In the 80s? You opened for plastics, used to open for bands. Yeah, Talking Heads and B-52s. Ah, B-52, you know, Fred Snyder. Also Ramones once. Yeah. Uh, plastics broke up, so... After uh, USA tour all over, like, 50 cities. Really? What was the best tour experience you've had so far? Mm, uh, Central Park. Yeah? yeah. Um, opening act for Talking Heads, huge crowd, um, we got jet lag and we don't know what, <laughs> what, what we're doing. <laughs> Sometimes it's better that way, no? <laughs> yeah, and then the Talking Heads was uh, like, suddenly like 12 people and Afro rock band and so I was kind of shocked, like, oh wow, to, to get into, you know, up. African music. David Bowie came to Tokyo and uh, Hajime, the lead guitarist, um, took the same boat to uh, Russia or something you know, with David. So they knew each other. And uh, we started plastics already. And, uh, um, he was asking, what, what, what? What, what kind of music you do? And uh, we said, oh, we're doing your covers, like uh, low album cover. And he said, don't do it. <laughs> you, should, you should make your original songs. That's why we start writing original songs. <laughs> yeah, don't copy me. <laughs> so we wrote copy. <laughs> copy, 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 copy. But Iggy was very friendly, Iggy Pop. Yeah. Yeah, so we passed the um, demo tape to Iggy and Iggy liked it. And he, he said, I want to produce it. And <laughs> never happened. <laughs> yeah, Iggy was uh, always around so in New York, same hotel. And were you at the Chelsea Hotel or where were you? Uh, then York Wars Hotel and Gramercy Park. Mm -hmm. I heard Gramercy Park is now fancy, fancy. Yeah, they <laughs> changed it. Yeah. So what's the future for you? Uh, no f future for me. <laughs> no future for you. <laughs> yeah, we kept saying, uh, um, yeah, from 1976. So <laughs> no future. No future. But so maybe there is future. <laughs> we're still here, right? Yeah. 30, 30 some years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we kept saying no future. <laughs> <laughs> it's very punk style now. Yeah.